time they are waiting. I'm still thinking that this export would be somehow quite risky. And mm. top it up with this. For people, whatever the number is, and then you execute that, that will be pretty nice. But if you don't have that, um, RSG, I feel that they can ease, they can somewhat dash out. And plus, you have a Rafaela who can sustain for that and at open speed, they can potentially get away from danger. Yeah, they can actually get get uh, get uh, get away from danger. So we want. I'm really really um. So what to say? I'm kind of looking forward to this game as we're entering game number two. But we'll be seeing that um as what so called you said about export and claw will be the ones that are gonna dive in that often. And but you, although you have the you have humes that can actually help you to get out with the guiding wind, but it is kind of hard. But it all depends on how the, the RSG Emma was able to tackle with this drug when they have a lot of high ground that can burst them down. And speaking of which, Repo was just doing Repo things. He pressures Lapu Lapu in the early game, which we kind of expected in this early game. And the last time we saw Repo using the uh, Khalid was during... Um, I believe it was during uh, MPL MY that time. And his Khalid was really good, got the MVP as well during that time. So that's another status that uh, RSGMY will be banking on as well. The credibility of Repo with the uh, with the Khalid. But now, Benonko spots us, guys, oh. but still early. It should have a problem. Yep, shouldn't be a problem. But the problem right now is that we are seeing this Veno, uh, uh, this export jungle is not giving that much impact. Speak of which, whoa, that amount of damage by Repo. I seen him a lot of oh that he can come for more Venno go instantly Lex locks down first blood over to RSG MY as he locks down Zach QT but he wanted to go for more oh, he oh, still he? has the Dentonas mm. welcome but he not he doesn't want to go for Lapu Lapu instead yeah he saved everything for the turtle and the turtle is now up brought to you by Calm Asia and with the turtle up. You can see that Benongo is already going for it. And at the same time, Yumski is getting information, but he, only he is alone there. We don't see the challenge coming from Yudu Red Giants. I mean, at this point, you know that you will be able to uh, contest the jungle over here, so you chose to go for other objectives, which is a brilliant move somehow for um, the side of Yudu Red Giants. But because, you know, one thing I found out, uh, Barat has one thing in, 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 in problem is that how was he so um, mana required? So basically, this um, RSG, uh, I mean, for Barat, he, if he doesn't have a robot, it's pretty much GG. But here it goes. Player 2 gets down as well. But the likes of Venoko is in two kills going to this dinosaur. Wow. Oh, Storm is going to the bottom lane. Lolias waiting to take down Player 1. Storm is trying to get into position. Player 1 goes in for the recall of oh, Storm knows he's there so that's gonna be stopping them from going home. He's stopping them from going home and he's going for more and the blazing blood just to clear the lanes and a little bit of shield as well as Zakudi comes to help but now it seems like three members are oh. just coming down here. Stormski you're Again? just an absolute beast he's going for more as Stormski quickly retreats he receives a lot of damage you have oh. to respect that. Yep but they no go the moment he arrived, like, they already left, so no one's at home at this moment. Player 1 is still there though, but I don't think he'll want to stay underneath the turret for too long if he can, but he has no option now. They're surrounding him. Player 1 trying oh. to get away from Ripo! Arrive! Ripo arrives, and here comes... Whoa! What an amazing way that I, I see that how the Barra Snakes take him So guys, last season he just to escape. But I guess RSG MY has pinpointed the key of victory. You basically ha just have to pressure player one, and that's all. Especially when you are having um Sakai to play an objective jungler, all you have to do is to pressure and make sure player one doesn't really get into the late game of the power spike. You are um or you you the red chance doesn't really show that that great effect. No left gets the turret now the turtle. Will be challenged by Yu Ray Giants this time. We got player two nearby as well. Yums is pushed back. The zoning is happening now. RSG again will secure the next turtle. Yu Ray Giants not able to contest. Alright, they shows no contest over here. And whoa! He actually get the purple buff? Yeah, he got he did. it. Yeah. Oh my god! I mean, wow. Dude, 
Chris Barras was just so strong at this pass now. He just comes in with this giant force and march onto forward into the resource and just engulf it and there it goes. This is how the Barras was making it in this game. But here goes the live stream monster. This is game number two in Grand Finals. Don't forget to like and share to your mem to your friends and MLBB fans as well. And the more views we got, the higher uh, rewards we will obtain through MLBB levels. So don't forget to support a Koha Esports live stream. Oh, guys, now with the last insanity, but that's not going to do much damage. And it's going to be an easy elimination there oh. by Venogo. Oh, gets another one player to fall to Izanami's hands this time. Same goes for the turret. I'm just wondering one thing. Is Venogo hungry? <laughs> Does he has his lunch? Uh, I mean, has his, his dinner? Oh my goodness. He just engulfed everyone he just see. And, he, he, and he's suddenly having fun with all the food that he had. Yeah, I can I can empathize on that since I haven't had it as well. So yeah, but he's getting a lot of big meals here. Already three kills for Venogo without a single death. Obviously, the Sudo Rage just haven't got one yet. Yeah, they have gotten no kills until now, and RAG has six. Venogo has three. Repo has two, and Izanami has one. This game is gonna be the the, the the Jurassic Park basically for Barat. But now let's take a look at the itemization focusing on to Barat who just obtained the uh, the, the Scott Garden helmet and the rest is just like some defense items. So he's pretty tanky until now and the rest of the members for Unibrate just hasn't really reached the power spike so the items are still yet insufficient for them to engage any fights. Yeah, and Storm has the Flash of the Oasis as well, so you can imagine the level of sustain they have now. It's going to be real hard for Uterate Giants to engage onto Paisa. They really need to farm up. Yep, they really need to get the farm up at this point. So, really, our RSG and Y have been showing aggression. Uterate Giants, they need to find the display how they're going to do it. And now, yes, as usual, Player 1 was able to do some split push, but RSG and Y they are being grouping up a lot to deal with it. So at this point now, the Unit Rage has to utilize some um, split push or something that can break the formation from RSG and Y to fight against them, fight to rebalance them, the, the object, the, their advantage over. Oh, player through, caught out, it's in trouble, will be taken out by Izanami, now the turret will fall as well. And they will get another one. Oh, nope. Oh, no one's eaten by the no go. So that's absolutely okay. But Izanami goes all the way to the right. But at the base, you kind of half front line did that. And they're looking for more kills. But instead of kills, they will get the turret. They will get the turret still as they seize the opportunity to get the objectives. Just like you guys. Don't forget to seize your opportunity with the Kohai's End of Year giveaway by following the steps and win. The fantastic prize, you can win the chat, have a chance of to win the iPhone 12 Homeboys M5 jersey, 300 TNT code voucher, and MLB the Diamonds. This giveaway is still valid until next year, uh, 31st January 2024. So don't forget to get your, to join the giveaway and have a chance to win the prize. Now, speaking about having a chance to win, you do Red Giants, how are they going to contest for the next Lord? Because the gap is still there. 8k gold lead now in about 8 minutes, less than 9 minutes, I must say. So, you do Red Giants, I don't think they're even prepared to, to challenge the Lord. They have been outnumbered. They have been so pressured into the in this fight. They cannot show anything that can, they can do to fight against this um, massive, strong lineup. And you can see that how they were very comfortable to fight against this Lord as now Ripple is there trying to buy some time for the oh, rest Ripple? of the members but he just stand there with the, with the sand guard and now Izalino just kind of comes in to clean the job and here goes Lost Insanity! This guy oh. shows his prodigy name as well Player 2 jumps in the bravest fighter but he cannot do that next for the moment oh, yes. Hotline has won. Player 1 gets down made by Izanami. And here comes Lolius with the total pop memory that the damage is not enough. Wow, that beautiful flicker by Lolias got him to safety. And again, what did I tell you about Izanami? This guy with the Valentina is just insane. But, uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I would say...
it's again, it's not worth it to ban out his Valentina because he'll open up a lot more other heroes that RSGMY can use. Now with the Valentina, he is just unstoppable. He is just unstoppable, and, but Repo is adding up even more. This team, RSGMY, are looking forward to end this in this 10 minutes only. RSGMY are looking forward to this move to go until all in this time. The actual Spear of Azure Recall hits in, and now the Lord just hits open the in inhibitors. And now they continue to march forward. So, uh, Either Red Giants are looking for a defense, but they, I don't think this is a good chance for them to defend this once and for all. Yeah, Itanami just cheating by going in across the wall. So we can see that now player one, he's just clearing Whoa. the top lane, but looks like they're going to make that engagement. Benogo is inside with the Immortality. It's going to be even more brave and fun and has out by player two. Norris GMY are looking for four to end this game, but there's no minutes that march on forward. Astro Spear hits onto the four, and looks like that we, that we might be just be it until now. They halt for a second moment. But looks like this time now, player one in the meantime, trying to put some pressure and by, by killing off some turrets in the sub separate lane. So you the Red Giants, they are still on the hench. Nope. RSGMY, they are back onto the purple bomb. You do Red Giants, no way for them to reach it. You can see, even Storm is somewhat zoning their opponent. I mean, this is the level of confidence that they have with the gap, which is about almost 9k gold lead. Yeah, almost 9k gold lead. This is that they're showing a lot of pressure in this in this time round. RSG, they are showing just going on flex as far as upfront as possible. Your fear of no death. Death is fear of them. And you do red giants has to succumb to this defeat. Speaking of which, now Izanami, this guy. He can, he's just a mage, but he can just go all in and terrify every single moment by landing every com combos possible. Okay, 15 seconds before the Lord comes up. So it looks like Yudu Red Giants, they're interested? Yes, but can they? I don't know at this point. Because this goalie right now is almost 11k, are you kidding me, right? And we're like 12 minutes into the game right now, so now the lot is up, and Nogo is going to pull it towards his side, Dooms is there. Player 1 is close by Skies as well, but when or how are they going to go in? Quote unquote, um, by, um, what's the name called? Tom Cruise or Mission Impossible. I'm playing a hench, but this time around they're playing a hench over real. Oh. And uh, player two is going down with a bit of flick up, and the player's body comes in. Told about memory onto player two. Mega kill over bar two. Benogo, one loss of members. Repo is down as well. Fights the player one. Sakai is there trying to pick up the retreat. Benogo stands on multi on the top. He's going for the Lord. The retribution by Benogo secures the Lord. Player one gets eliminated. Alive, the Lord is coming into the mid lane. The four members are trying to end this. I think mean, three members came to the tree. They're trying to defend this, but now the, the number of the minutes are increasing. The Lord is marching to the base. Player two make a defense. They're trying to defend it once and for all. Death Thomas Loka punches it in. Player two gets down eventually as well, but he's still holding on the battle. Punching on the Isanami. Player two, player one, player two, player trying to make the difference and they make a defense. Sakai's coming with just in time and they will manage to defend this. Last is at least two here yet to be popped up. But here comes as well. Lolius joins the battle and RSGMY still can't end this. Ooh, if only they still had Lolius at that point, then maybe they could have ended it. But now Lolius is together with them, but without the Lord though. The top turret could fall. They go in onto the back line. Stone King gets the top turret. And now you do the guys need to back off. They have to back off, but you RSG MY says no. But instead now they're trying to clear the minions again as they're looking forward to end this again. But you do red giants are still playing this safe. But this is one thing RSG needs to take note. If they do not end this game right now, 
Yuta Red Giants would potentially make a, this a defense. We've seen um, Yuta Red Giants was playing a lot of defense for so much. But at this time round, RSG somehow can deny it. Let's take a look. Itemization. Player 1 has the items complete. Core items for Claude. And a little bit more for um, Novara as well. For ZQT. But instead of which, the x Force is a little bit of low HP still. But still was able to survive until now. Venogo is trying to make a defense and also let's take a look at the other items as well. We can see that how this time that Brody has all the items complete. Now going on to the Athena shield potentially in order to withstand the damage against the huge amount of damage from Novara which he had just got the um, lightning truncheon in order to put this into the pressure. And Yums is so so poor. Look at his goal. Only about 6k with about 3 items completed. But on the other hand, Storm has like about 8 to 9k by now. And yeah, obviously about maybe 4 items completed. So it's kind of poor. He needs to find more gold there. But uh, time might not be on their side. Because right now, the Lord will come up. The Lord will come up and RSG are standing by. This time around, you the Red Giants, would they want to play the hench? They have the, the, at least 3 members are level 15. But of facing against the Giants on the RSG and why this could be one thing that was being so tough to be fight over. Unless I'm sensing if um, Sakai was able to use the last insanity and contest for this jungle. But look at the movement from Repo. He's doing something to flank this from behind. And the target could be ZQT. And instead of it, the Total Power America hits onto it. Ripple gets to the ZQT. A perfect flanking by Ripple. And as well, Lotus goes down. Three members goes down as well. Game number two. RSGMY was able to get down two members at once. As RSGMY are looking forward to end this once and for all. The minions are marching. RSGMY. Looking to end this once and for all. Uterate Giants, are they able to defend this RSG? Go one by one. Lotus facing attack over. RSG and Y secures game number two.